In this video, we'll show you how to make your own crab apple wine, from start to finish. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Your support means the world to us and helps us create more content just like this. Thank you. First, pick the crab apples. Day 1, cut the stem and the other end off of the crab apples. As you go, wash all containers and utensils you will use with a cleaner sanitizer solution. I use a pink powder chlorine which I get from my winemaker's supply store. The mix is 1 teaspoon powder to 1 liter of water. Rinse the crab apples and either cut them in small pieces or smash them. As I was going, I found it would make less of a mess if I used a container to smash them in. For a 6-gallon batch, use 30 pounds of crushed crab apples, 6 pounds of white raisins and 9 liters of distilled water. In a large container, add the crushed crab apples and water. Mix and loosely cover. <laughs> add 1 and a quarter teaspoon of pectic enzyme and 6 Campton tablets. Let it sit overnight. Day 2, in 4 liters of distilled water, add 9 pounds of granulated sugar. Dissolve the sugar in the water and pour over the crushed crab apples. Add the 6 pounds of raisins. Now add another 5 liters of water into the must. Add in 6 teaspoons of yeast nutrient. Sprinkle in 6 packages of wine yeast. Mix and cover loosely. Leave for 5 days, stirring each day. Day 7, strain the liquid and transfer it to a carboy. Squeeze as much liquid out of the must as possible. What really works well for this is a fruit press. Fill an airlock bung half full of water and attach it to the carboy. Within a few hours it should start bubbling. 
If it doesn't, then add more yeast to restart the fermentation. Let the wine age in the carboy for at least 4 to 6 weeks. This allows the flavors to develop and the wine to clarify slightly. Day 193, siphon the wine off the sediment, known as racking, into another sanitized carboy. Some carboys allow you to drain the wine and leave the sediment in the carboy. That is the type of carboy that I have. Here is the sediment left behind after removing the wine. Now, stabilize and clear the wine. Let it further age in the carboy until it's clear before bottling. This could take from 6 months to a year. You can bypass this step by agitating the wine to degas it and using both Kieselsol and Kytosan, which is what I'm doing. Degas the wine by agitating it. If you have a plastic carboy made for this you agitate it by rocking and rolling the carboy for 1 minute. Add 1 teaspoon of potassium metabasulfite and mix by agitating the wine. Rock and roll for 1 minute and pause for 3 minutes. Repeat this process 4 times. Add 2 teaspoons of potassium sorbate. Rock and roll 2 times. Potassium metabasulfite is there to extend the aging life of the wine, and potassium sorbate is there to inhibit yeast growth. Adding these ingredients are necessary regardless of which clearing option you use. If you're stabilizing and clearing the wine in this quick method you need two more steps. You need to also add Kieselsol, 13 grams, and Kytosan, 40 grams, to help clarify the wine. First add the Kieselsol, and rock and roll two times. Then add the Kytosan, and rock and roll two more times. Day 217, now, 10 days later, the wine should be clear and ready to bottle. If not, then give it more time until it is clear. To further clear the wine you can add a clearing step by filtering the wine. I'm doing this with a mini jet wine filter machine. Now to bottle the wine. First sanitize and wash the bottles. To sanitize, I'm using a bottle rinser bottle washer sterilizer tool. Pour in some of the pink powder sanitizing solution to coat the insides of the bottles. Press the bottles up and down over the sanitizer several times. Next, rinse the bottles. Attach a bottle washer fixture to a water source, like an outside tap. Then rinse out the bottles. The gasket on my tap needs to be replaced, but will be good enough for now. Bottle the wine. Fill the bottles leaving approximately 3 quarters inch, or 2 centimeters, airspace at the top. Cork the wine. You can buy a mini handheld corker at most homemade wine supply stores. Add heat shrink wine sealers. Put one sealer on each bottle over the cork. Then shrink it to the bottle with a hairdryer or a heat gun. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up with our latest videos. Thank you.